I finally cracked the Mojack sound. Mojack tracks are so funky and addictive and it took me ages to figure out why. Today I will show you a simple six step formula to nail a sound inspired by tracks as the funk and jazz. So let's straight up into it. We're gonna start off with the drums first, set a BPM to 128, then open up the after hours pack and start off with a kick. Let's go for this 808 kind of bass kick. We're gonna start off the drop right here and start it off with a really small kick feel for some more energy. Then we're gonna end it in the open head and the offbeat. It's a bit too long, so shorten it and lower down the volume. Just like this. Then drop in the clap. And we're gonna use a small trick to add some more groove to the clap. So add this delay to it with a really small feedback. Automate the wetness. Just like this. This will add an extra offbeat clap to it. Then for some more groove, we're gonna add a top loop as well. And just cut out a clap because we already have a clap in there. Really adding in the groove. But we can use some more groove, so drop in a closed head right here, steady off the grid. And then to take it to the next level, we're gonna add a glitch loop to it. This one sounds perfect, so drop it in. A really low volume, so you can barely hear it, but it's just there to make it a bit more interesting. So then we're gonna write all the drums to a drum bus. First, add some distortion with a drum fender preset. And mix it in around here. And then we're gonna create a small build up effect. So copy over the drums. And automate this band pass. Like this, together with end the smell. Giving this effect. So that's it for the drums. Now we're gonna continue with a typical Mojack style bass line as he used in tracks as these. So for the bass, we're gonna use one of my favorite presets from the After Hours pack. It's this trippy organ bass with a really weird top end. Somehow this really emphasizes Mojack's groove. So let's work on a MIDI. We're gonna start off in A minor on the root note. Up to the sixth. Back to the fourth. More variation for the second bar. Duplicate it again. And finish on the seventh note of the skill. Then mixing wise, we're only gonna add in a side chain and mix it together with a kick. So run them both to a bus channel. Add some compression to glue them together. And an R bass to bring out some of the sub ends. So that's it for the bass. Dance the night. So now we're gonna continue with the vocal. Open up the vocal tab of the F Towers pack. And let's go for this one. And place the vocal eight bars before the drop. Something like this. And mix it some more. So remove some low ends. Press it a little bit. Bit more reverb and delay. and automate a side chain so we can use it in a drop. And we're gonna leave these sort of ad libs in there, but cut it right here. Or well, maybe cut it right here and copy over this one. Yeah, that's solid, just like this. So this will be our focal. It's fairly easy with the sample pack, but it's just that good, it, it's got the job done. To make it a bit more suited for a minimal house, we need to add in those typical minimal house synth fills. So let's add a new serum, go to the F Towers pack and start off with a plug. Let's go for this one and make a fill right here around the root notes up to the seventh. And finish on the fifth. Yeah, that's perfect. Then put it stereo, some delay, and of course the side chain. And drop it in right here. Then copy over the serum and make another lead fill. 
Let's go for this. Chris Dusty got in the lead. Yeah, that's perfect. Just another small one. And do the same. Let's use this chord step. And place it right here. So that's it for all the synth elements. All together, sound like this. We got all the elements ready, so now it's just a matter of arranging it. I also added some automations with the sidechains. So first let's copy over all the melodics. And switch up the drums like this as well. Yeah, just like this. And also arrange the drums some more. So we're gonna make a small intro right here. Just for the drums and the bass. And some of the ad libs. And to finish off the breakdown, I also added some more effects. Like a string and ambience. Together with a small snare roll. And then just arrange the drop like this. By adding in the ambiences again. Right loop. And some more vocal cuts. So. That's how you make a Mojack style drop. I think the final result turned out really, really dope. So let me know what you think about this one in the comments. Besides that, if you liked the video, drop a like, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see y'all in the next videos.